Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to edit a video. Step number one is to clear your desk. Get a nice seat. That's my chair. Pop open the laptop and let's get to it. All right, what is up everybody? I'm gonna be showing you today how I edit a video. So let's dive straight into this thing. First thing I do is I always create a folder on my desktop. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna create this. This is gonna be video number 39. We're gonna call it install Whipple one. And this is gonna be from today's footage. I'm gonna show you how I edit the video. I've already transferred the videos from my iPhone to my computer via AirDrop. And I use a program called Final Cut Pro. The first thing I do is I create a new library, file new library. I'm gonna click the 39 install Whipple. I'm gonna name the library install Whipple one. And now I'm going to import my footage. I'm gonna click here, this little down arrow, go to my Macintosh HD. It's gonna be in downloads. I'm gonna sort this by date. So it shows me all the footage from today, which is January 23rd. So I'm gonna click every video on here. This is January 23rd, which is only about five videos. We're gonna click import. <clears throat> so now here's all my footage from today. As you can see, some of it's rotated and some of it's not. I'm gonna click and drag all of them by hitting Command A and dragging all of these into place here. All right, so we got as you can see this video is rotated 90 degrees the wrong way so i'm going to rotate this by clicking this video this uh movie icon here rotate it to the left by 90 degrees and increase the scale to 180. i believe there's about two more clips that are like that oops i accidentally did that to all of them and i just want to do it to the few that need to be rotated we're gonna do this real quick. This one needs to be rotated 270 degrees. Increase the scale by 180. All right, so we've got them all dragged into place and they are all in, sorted by order of the time that I filmed them. So the first thing I filmed is from the very beginning of the video, the last thing I filmed is gonna be at the very end. So the way to do this is you basically watch your video once all the way through, you're going to cut edit you're going to kind of basically copy cut and paste things throughout depending on if you want to cut them, some things out if you want to add transitions so i'm going to just go through this quickly and uh that should be it for this video on That's how i edit so you can see there's a little bit of a delay there in the beginning of this video if you actually scroll in to the video you can see i start talking right here so i'm going to hit b for blade and cut out that whole first section of the clip. Once again, we are back with another freaking whatever. So I'm gonna cut out that whatever. So so I'm gonna hit B for blade and cut these two clips my out. Is a mess and I okay, so I kind of started over myself. So I'm gonna fix that. A little bit before we get started on here. So I'm gonna blade it. Working on this thing. I'm not to pull it over here. Working on this thing. I'm gonna have to pull centers off that other blower. Oh, oh gosh, it's, it's a lot. Oh gosh, it's, it's a lot to take. So I'm just right cutting and pasting. Get started. We got it. Boxes over here. Oh gosh, it's, it's a lot to take on right now. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna get started. We gotta we gotta get this thing right before this weekend. So let's get to a time lapse here of me cleaning my garage. All right. So I recorded a time lapse on my GoPro. I've already imported it, and we are going to pull that footage in and drag it in and then speed it up. So here's part of the footage here. And I'm gonna click on the clip that I wanna speed up. I'm gonna turn the sound off by clicking this little bar and dragging it down. I'm gonna go fast and I'm gonna go 20X. Once it's at 20X, I can kinda even make it faster like this. And you'll see I can how it transpires. It's kinda jumpy right now, but once you export the file, it'll actually go a lot quicker. Uh, looks like this was two different videos because it cut off a little early, I think. It's really important to turn the sound off, otherwise it just makes a lot of crazy noises. We're going to go fast, 20x again. We have a time lapse that's about 10 seconds long. I'm going to add some music to it. I use there's different programs you can use. I use a program or an online website called artlist.io and it allow, I pay for a subscription. It allows me to use music copyright free. 
and I believe this is the song I normally use. Yep. So I'm going to drag this song in, drop it in under my clip I want to time lapse. And then I'm shooting for my audio to be sitting at around negative 6 to negative 12. And then I'll, I'll I want to kind of let it drag on while I start talking. So I'm going to turn the volume down negative 12 decibels while I'm talking. So it'll be about right there and that should be sitting about right. Moving on, I got the tools organized, the garage is still about a six. No, too loud. I'm gonna go down another negative six. This is taking me a while to figure out how much on, to turn it down. The garage is still about a we began. So the first step is going to be looking around to see where I'm going to have to extend some wires and hose. All right, there's the end of that clip. I'm going to clip and cut it short because it was a little too long. Here's a picture. And I'm going to end my song off here. And all I'm doing is just watching this video one time through. Okay, so there's some gaps between me talking. I'm going to delete this and delete this clip short like that. What's crazy about these? Okay, so there's this gap here from the beginning of my clip. So I start talking. So I'm going to click and drag this here. Okay, so I said something wrong there. It's actually on the hat of the blower. I believe there's another one that goes in front of the throttle body. Okay, so I'm going to add a little title on here of a caption. And I'm gonna say blower hat. So people don't be like, oh, there's no map sensor in front of the uh, whatever. And that goes in front of the throttle, throttle body. But on this car, how we're gonna have it set up is I'm gonna put the. Okay, so I'm starting to trip over myself. So I'm just gonna cut this video off. All right, so I'm gonna delete all that. It's now Tuesday and I've kind of hit a roadblock. There's a few things. Alright, so that's it for the video. Now, obviously, when I'm working with longer videos, it's like 10, 15, 20 minutes worth of footage. But just for this example, I'm showing you what I filmed for today, even though I'm probably going to put this clip in tomorrow's video. So now that your video is done, it's ready to be exported, you would click. Now, all I did, all I did is watch that one time and I just edited it as I went. I didn't jump back and forth. I dragged all my footage down into the bottom, went through it once, done, ready to, ready to export. So. I click this export button here, social platforms. We're going to do it, call it 39, uh, what was it? Whipple install one, make sure it's saving in the correct destination. And the settings are right. I shoot in 1090 or upload in 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio. And we're going to export. All right. So now we need to work on a thumbnail. So we'll use uh, this as an example. I'll just say something like, just for example, we use something like this. And I'll just screenshot this. All right, now I'm gonna open Photoshop. All right, so now we're in Photoshop. I'm gonna click new file. And Photoshop is a program that I took me a long time to learn how to use. Uh, and YouTube, you know, the thumbnails are 1080 by 720. I do 640 pixels per inch. You end up having to export it into a smaller file. So it's about two megabytes. And now I'm gonna click and drag my screenshot, which I got. Oh, that's not it. That's still exporting. I'm going to click and drag this off my desktop into here and we will click and drag it so it fills the whole frame and let's say you want to do something like add some text so maybe we'll add some text and be like Whipple install one or we'll do like boost incoming. We'll put this across the top. 
and then I'll do like a little border around it, like a little black stroke around the lettering like this. And then I'll just say I want to crank up the colors a little bit. We'll turn the saturation up like this. There we go. Now she's kind of popping. So, so yeah, I kind of want to, would want to increase this font like, like looking like this. All right, so now we're ready to export it. So I believe that video is just about done exporting. This is our thumbnail, it's ready to export. We have boost incoming into 1.6 megabyte file. YouTube only lets you upload to two megabytes. So I'm gonna increase the scale of this by 10% and that should be 1.9. All right, cool. So we got 1.9, our video is exported. We're gonna say, call it thumbnail. And now we're gonna go to YouTube Studio. And now we're going to upload a video. We're gonna click Upload Video, and now we're going to select Files, and go to our video, Whipple Install 1. It's gonna upload, and we're gonna call it Installing the our new Whipple supercharger on the Hellcat. And I'm gonna click this thumbnail that we made. And there it is. That's how you upload a video. You can put a description in, you can add tags, you can add locations, you can add turn monetization on. Once you reach that point, you can actually pick where you want the ads to be in your video. Once it's done uploading, it's gonna take here about 20 minutes it says. You go through all these things and then you click public, publish, videos out there. So obviously I'm gonna stop this video right now from uploading and uh, you know make this video on how to edit a video and then you'll probably end up seeing this footage in tomorrow's video. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment and we'll see you tomorrow. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench? plowing a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth. Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty, get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.